We are also alarmed by continuing reports of extrajudicial killings across the country, despite the general amnesty announced by the Taliban after 15 August. Between August and November, we received credible allegations of more than 100 killings of former Afghan National Security Forces and others associated with the former government, with at least 72 of these killings attributed to the Taliban. I am deeply concerned about the continued risk of uh, recruitment of children by the ISIL-KP, as well as by the de facto authorities, with boys increasingly visible among security forces at checkpoints, as bodyguards and in combat roles. The safety of Afghan judges, prosecutors and lawyers, particularly women legal professionals, is a matter for particular alarm. Many are currently in hiding for fear of retribution, including from convicted prisoners who were freed by the de facto authorities, notably men convicted of gender-based violence.